So back to, again, not to draw it out, but again, why does it matter? Why, why does all of this matter? I'm going to offer you it matters for two reasons. One is because we have a mission bigger than Variety Village. I believe. And I actually believe that right now is the biggest opportunity for our charity in our 70 year history. Because now we're not just breaking down barriers in education in a small, in a small way or parasport in a small way. We're actually creating inclusive communities across the province in a way that will not be done but for our efforts. And I believe that. And so if you believe it, then we need to, again, rally around this mission. And again, why it matters is because we're not going to raise money for a mission unless we believe it's a mission worth raising money for. And we're not raising money for a facility in Scarborough. We're raising money for our mission for kids across the province of Ontario. And so when we're in London and we're operating programming in London and we have a partner like Pizza Nova, Pizza Nova now has a reason to have their franchises in London raise money for variety. Because right now they don't. And the same thing will happen again with the Teamsters. And the same thing will happen again with other organizations that want to come support us. Because when I started my role and I was going out to organizations and I was asking for money, they would say, well, we don't support community centers. And even the government, we got a million dollars of funding from the government. The government said, the province of Ontario said, well, you should go to the city because we don't support rec centers. We're not a rec center. We're an organization with a mission to change lives. And so we need to make the shift. And the other reality is our mission is not to raise money for the activators. That's not our mission. Our mission isn't to raise money for a fitness club. That's not why we're here. The reason that we're here is to build leaders, change lives, break down barriers, build inclusive communities, and we do it through accessible programming for kids. And so if we're going to raise our profile and we're going to raise our fundraising opportunity and we're going to actually take advantage of the biggest opportunity that this charity has ever had, that's why this is important. And once again, nothing that happens in our building is going to change. Because our building, actually what our building is, it's our social enterprise. It's, it's, it's a 168,000 square foot facility that operates many programs that benefit many people in the local community and it will continue to do so. But our ability to reinvest in these programs and reinvest in this building is dependent on us being able to realize our overall and bigger mission. And it, that's why these days become important. And if, you know, I learned, because you know I came from a bit of a different world. I learned how important these programs were in a different way than marked it. And it was through one of the programs, Volt Hockey, that we're bringing out into communities across Ontario. And most of you may know Volt Hockey was brought here by the ambassador of Denmark, and he wanted, that was his gift to Canada, he wanted this uh, adaptive sport. And so we, you know, we had the 10 chairs and they were brought to Variety Village with big fanfare and the Maple Leafs came and you've, I know most of you have heard this story, but the Toronto Maple Leafs came out as part of that launch because they were going to play the kids and it was a March break and we had people from Denmark. It was, it was an amazing event and the, the Leafs played the kids and of course, you know who won, right? The kids won. Yeah. Of course the kids won, oh. right? But that wasn't actually the life-changing miracle moment. It was that one of the boys who was in the chairs who actually came from London to come here for the March break launch, he was in the chair playing the Toronto Maple Leafs and he said, I love hockey. I love hockey. I know all the stats. I know all the sports. I have all the cards. But up until this moment, I only thought I'd ever play hockey on a video game. I didn't think I could dream a dream that I would ever play hockey against a Toronto Maple Leaf player. It wasn't a dream I thought I could even have. So we gave that boy and his parents a way to dream bigger than they ever even knew how they could dream. What does that mean for their life? That's life changing. That's what we do. And now we have the opportunity to do it on the biggest, grandest scale that we've ever had the opportunity to do. And from my perspective, we don't have a choice but to take it. And so now we have the opportunity, we have the 10 chairs here at Variety Village and our kids have learned how to play, but now they're bored because they're tired of playing against each other. So now we need to build other teams so the kids can go and play against other leagues. That's why we're going to London. That's why we're going to Beaton. That's why we're having a try at Day in Markham. That's why we want to go to Newmarket so that we can again build this out. 
Children in Motion is another program that right now is actually being uh, delivered by Steve <laughs> at MLSC Launchpad in Vaughan and in Peel. And just to give you a sense of whether, you know, how our donors feel about this bigger vision, they've bought into it because since we've announced that we want to be able to deliver programming in communities across the province, we've raised almost $650,000 from the United Way, from the Gilligan Foundation, from Bank of Montreal, um, and from uh, other private donors. And so our next opportunity is to take that initial investment and figure out how we get donors in those communities that will buy into the mission that will help us grow across the province, help us deliver more programming, and help us reinvest in the programming here and the building here so that we can continue that virtuous cycle. So it's an exciting time. And it's our opportunity. And so when Mark talks about the reason that we're going to focus on the kids, the reason that we need the same language, the reason that we need to be really clear about our mission is because it's an important mission. And not to repeat, but we're all fundraisers. And we're not going to get there unless we're all on the same page about why it's important. That everything we do, and it doesn't matter where we work, whether it's accounting, my office, frontline, the reason that we're here is to support the mission. We do it in different ways. And again, we need the fitness club because the fitness club supports the mission. The active ager club supports the mission. All of the activities that take place in this building support the mission, but ultimately the mission is why we're here.